but they meet bad friends and they like each other, they will still have to get the agreement of their mom and dad and of his mom and dad. So they still have to ask officially for the hand of the girl and they have to talk about the dowry. But we do it the traditional way. Uh, I have once met an Emirati man and I said to him, is your mother already asking you? She said she has a much better method. She doesn't clean my sleeping room anymore. That's the message that she wants me out of the house. Now, the moment that the boy says, mom, okay, you can start to look for a nice wife, his mom is calling her friends, she's calling her nieces, her family, her sisters. Actually, since the boy was born, they have already been looking for a wife for him. And when you go here to the weddings, the female weddings, the mother is always on the lookout. Oh, that looks like a nice girl. Oh, she might be interesting. Now, the mother is going to look around, she's going to get help from her friends, and at a certain time she comes to the boy, let's name him Ahmed, and tells him, Ahmed, I found a girl for you. We are going to go next Friday to her house and you will be able to see her and talk to her. Now, Ahmed is very nicely dressed, his most beautiful kamdura, his most beautiful agal, he has a lot of perfume on him and he goes with his mom, with his sister, with his auntie and they are going to visit the house of, let's call her Shireen, nice name, Shireen. Now Shireen will be in normal clothes, she sits in the living room, they are talking together, Ahmed and Shireen, for about half an hour, one hour, one and a half hour. And they are going to ask each other questions, like Shireen, you are studying now, would you like to work later? And if she said, yes, I didn't study for nothing, I want to use my knowledge, and he doesn't like it, he will tell his mom and dad later, listen, she's a really beautiful girl, very nice, intelligent, but I don't think this is the perfect wife for me. Now, she's going to ask him questions as well, like how many children do you want to have? Do you want to have other wives next to me later on? And they're talking and talking, and then when they get home in their own houses, they're going to tell their mom and have a pension. Here, they like children, they like to have big families. Now the families are getting less big. Now, suppose that the boy and girl agree, he has to visit once his future father-in-law, and he has to talk about the dowry. What is he going to give her? If he's going to give her gold, if he's going to give her a good house, uh, the furniture, he has to pay everything. Nothing is paid by the girl. Now, Sheikh Zayed, former Sheikh of Abu Dhabi, our first president, he said to the fathers and mothers of the girl, please do not overcharge our boys. Because if you're going to charge too much, then the boys will get married to expat women. We have beautiful women here from Lebanon, from Syria, from Morocco. These are also Muslims sometimes. And these parents will not ask that much. Now, he said even if a boy gets married for the first time and if his salary is not very high, you can get, in the beginning it was $20,000 for a wedding, but only for the first wife and only if she's an Emirati wife. If it would be an expat, if it would be a foreigner or if it would be the second wife, he won't get that money. And it depends on his salary. If he has a good salary, he doesn't get it. Now, what they also do nowadays is mass wedding. So, 100 couples are marrying at the same time. Engagement here is very important because when you get engaged, you're <coughs> signing here a contract, the book. And you are already considered as married even if you have never had any sexual contact. And if you don't want to continue your engagement, you have to divorce officially. By the way, these boats are also going to India, Iran and Pakistan and they are loaded by cranes and on the left hand side all those buildings there with the blue roof, with the blue buildings with the wind tower, that's going to be the night souk. That is actually the Palm Dira. Okay, so while they are engaged, the boy and the girl can go out but mostly with a chaperone. Uh, the little brother of the girl or maybe the sister, they don't go often together because they're still not considered as married. And the more the family of the girl is asking, the longer it will take before they get married. Now, the wedding 
is and they are full of essence that is the perfume without the alcohol in it and they make them themselves and they last much longer on your body than the one with the alcohol in it and then ladies and gentlemen all the people at the female weddings are females not any man allowed and if they have a band the, man, the band has to be women or they have to be men and then they have to turn around so they can't see all the women behind them and then they play music camera team is lady all the people who are working i mean the, the the people who are serving the drinks all ladies and they celebrate really believe me from eight o'clock in the evening till two three in the morning without any drip of alcohol it's just coca-cola juices a lot of food no you go to the wedding you don't take anything with you not a present but you get a small present when you leave the wedding and this can be a small box of chocolate dates a necklace it depends on the wealth of the family but when you visit the couple for the first time in the house you take a present and it has to be big do not give small presents in the arabic world that is not appreciated so don't come with a bunch of flowers never take a bottle of wine don't do that it's a bad idea it has to be big ladies and gentlemen this area where we pass by is the shindaga area this is where the sheikhs moved in after the museum after the fortress and here we have once again a little shopping area this is the carrefour yeah very big here now ladies and gentlemen when the couple doesn't want to have children at once they can take Anthroconceptive, yeah, it's okay. But once the fetus is there, they're not supposed to take it away. And this is the same with suicide, with euthanasia, that's not allowed here at all. So when you hear those people that are killing themselves because of their religion, that is actually comes exactly it's completely not allowed in Islam to kill yourself. It's really forbidden. They like to have children, and uh, nowadays, I don't think it matters very much anymore if you have boys and girls. At least one boy would be good for the name of the family, but girls are now also very much welcome. And uh, yeah, they like to have three, four, five children in the poorer emirates, like Gazakhema, Ajman, uh, Fujairah, there you can have still seven, eight kids per family. Now, I told you, they can marry more wives, but it only happens with 10% of the men, and it's, it's not very common anymore, yeah? and only if you can treat them equal. So, we're getting close once again to Port Rashid, so tomorrow you're going to go back to Abu Dhabi. That's nice. Did anybody of you do already the mosque? No? Yeah, okay. Now, for the mosque, if you have that on your program, as the ladies, long trousers, really till your ankle, a long shirt, and a sleeve that should really have in sleeves, or you should take a jacket, and preferably not white, because in their eyes, white is transparent. And when they opened the mosque in the beginning in 2007, they were very lenient. They would give everybody a beautiful dress for one hour, then they would go to the dry cleaner, and the next morning they would be fresh. But they got so many people visiting the mosque that now you really have to be dressed properly. Saw him several times driving his own car, and he has a small Mercedes G-Class, a small Jeep, but a strong one. And on the number plate is written number one. So if you don't have any letters, only one, you know it's Sheikh Mohammed. Now, from one till hundred, these numbers are belonging to the Sheikh family. Sheikh Mohammed, Hamdan, uh, brother, um, sorry, uh, other brother Hamdan, Uncle Ahmed, they all have those little numbers. But three, four times a year, we get messages on our telephone from the Road and Transport Authority and they tell us that we can buy certain numbers, so they're auctions. And if it really matters to you that you have a very special plate, you have to pay two, three, four, five million dirhams for that. Yeah. But they do sell them to uh, all kind of people, it's just uh, an auction. 
Now, on the number plates, you can see where the cars are from. Uh, Abu Dhabi has a different number plate, Sharjah has different, Ajman, it's all written where they are from. And in Dubai, I have two number plates. One of them is a normal, where it's written Dubai. The other one is with blue and pink. And you can read in Arabic and in English letters the word Dubai. Now, once again, the Queen Elizabeth, here we too. This is then the Dubai boat. It was really amazing, this boat. And then we are getting close to a lot of high-rise buildings quite far away from us. That is already the Emirate of Sharjah. Sharjah is really not far from here, but when you have a traffic jam, it can take you two hours. Now, I once heard a very funny story from a, put it on the first car, managed to pull him out because that Mercedes is very strong. Second car as well. So 15 minutes later, all the three of them were out of the desert. But Sheikh Mohammed said to this German gentleman, I need your driver license. Why should I give my driver license? It's driving in the desert, you don't need a license for that. But he said, okay, you need my driver license, I give it to you. He said, phone me in one week or I will phone you in one week and you can pick it up. So one week later, they phoned him, they said, we have your driver license. You know, where's the museum opposite that office of Sheikh Mohammed? So the man had to go there. He comes there, Sheikh Mohammed is not there, but one of the people who works for him. He said, hello, my name is this and this. I got stuck in the desert. I said, oh, okay, we know about you. We have an envelope from Sheikh Mohammed and a small letter for you. So he opened the envelope. In there were two keys of a new Toyota Land Cruiser with a little letter of Sheikh Mohammed. Next time, you're not going to be stuck. Best regard, Sheikh Mohammed. I try to get stuck every day there. <laughs> That doesn't happen anymore. He knows where the people are now. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, a few months ago, Sheikh Mohammed went to the desert. He had his thermos with coffee with him. He met some people, sat with them together, gave them some dates, drink some coffee with them. I prefer the Land Cruiser instead of the coffee. But uh, this really happens. Another story that happened last year. We have all kinds of competitions, and one of the competitions is somebody can read very nice Arabic books. So there was a competition, and who won? A girl of about 10 years old from Morocco, alone here, without bodyguard, without anybody, because they are so popular. Yeah. And this country has developed in 50 years so quickly because of the sheikhs. Sheikh Mohammed says Dubai is not only a country, Dubai is a company. And we are all working on the success of Dubai Company. It's a, it's, a, it's a product. So ladies and gentlemen, you have been back in Port Rashid. Thank you 